In this video, we will continue with trigonometric identities. You will find this on page 188 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Then make it a bit bigger. Okay. Prove that this side is equal to this side. Okay, so let's start with the left-hand side. Um, if I rewrite it, then... Now, it's so simple. Actually, both is so simple. So I must... It's almost like I must make it a little bit more. So a very simple expression includes something new, extra. So I see that this is 1 minus sin beta. So maybe I can try to form a difference between 2 squared by multiplying it with 1 plus sin beta. So there's the difference between 2 squares then. Okay, now, oh, now I can replace this because in this place of this, I can put um, 1 sin is equal to cos squared beta. I put it in and then one of the cos can cancel out and I'm left with the right hand side. Okay, so sometimes you can also bring in a few extra things. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to num do number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just make it a bit smaller. Okay, number B. So this was 1 minus 2 cos squared beta over sin beta cos beta and the identity is tan beta minus cot beta. Okay, now in this case, uh, because this is just cos, I am going to do it a little bit different and this is why I was picking this one. Because now I'm going to work with the right hand side. I can try the left, but I'm going to work with the right. And the right was tan beta minus cot beta. Okay, so what is tan? Tan is, oh, let's just get sin beta over cos beta. And cot is cos beta over sin beta. Now I find the LCM, the lowest common multiple, which is, in this case, so the LCM is cos beta sin beta. So I'm going to multiply by sin beta sin beta. And I'm going to multiply oh, which is cos beta cos beta. So I'm going to end up with sin square beta minus cos square beta and that's going to be over the LCM which is cos beta sin beta. Okay, so I'm ending up with this but now, now I'm going to also make a little bit bigger, expand a little bit. In the place of this sin square beta I'm going to say, okay, I know that sin squared beta is equal to 1 minus cos squared beta. So I'm going to replace it here. I'm going to say 1 minus cos squared beta minus cos squared beta over cos beta sin beta. Okay, now if I, if I open the brackets there, because there's just a 1, so it's going to give me 1, this is minus cos squared beta, minus cos squared beta, so it's minus 2 cos squared beta. Okay, over cos beta sin beta. If you compare you see there, 1 minus 2 square, um, cos squared sin, doesn't matter that order. 
So therefore, let's keep it right. The right hand side is equal to the left hand. Okay. Uh, the more you do of these identities, the easier it will become. So try to do as many as possible, and you're going to see the patterns, and you're going to get the feeling how to prove this identity.